for joining us for the wiki tree challenge kickoff for week uh we're at week eight with ellen thompson jennings of family history hound and helen's with us here today thank you Hi, ellen, ellen. for coming <laughs> thank so you so the wiki tree challenge if you haven't heard of it is our biggest ongoing community event every other week volunteers collaborate to grow seven degrees of connections for a special genealogy guest star. So this week's uh, challenge on G2 is on G2G, and here's the post. I've also added the links uh, for all of these pages into the chat, and they will be um, part of the YouTube description for the video once it gets uploaded. So here's the G2G post, and here is the space page. The free space page on Wikitree is where we do our collaboration. It's a place to ask for help and share information. So everyone should feel free to uh, make edits to the page and add any information that they might have. That G2G post we showed at first is another place to collaborate and communicate about what you're working on. There's an answer, answer for each ancestor so that members that are working on those specific answers, ancestors will get alerted to new comments once they're posted. G2G, just a quick note, is our community forum. Uh, G2G stands for Genealogist to Genealogist. And the link for it is found at the top of the help menu under help and then click on forum and that gets you right to the main page for questions and Ellen's week is pinned here at the near the top. You can easily access it there. At the top of the space page, we have uh, links to Ellen's profile, the G2G post, and then we have here a link to a YouTube video, an introduction to the WikiTree challenge. If you're new to the challenge, you can watch that and it kind of gives you an introduction there. Also, if you haven't used Discord, there's a link there to the help page and a video about what Discord is and how to use it and how to get connected on our Wikitree server. Basically, it's a real-time chat application. And so it's really helpful to break out into threads by ancestor if you're uh, wanting to do that, if you have a lot of go uh, back and forth about a specific ancestor. It's a really great tool. The score sheet uh, currently is not up yet. Uh, it should be showing up pretty soon. We'll get that, get a notification out to everybody when it, once it's up. Uh, go ahead and get started though, if you'd like. And uh, the score sheet will keep track of any edits that you've made. The score sheet updates once an hour. Connections uh, update twice an hour. All right. So here's some information about Ellen and who she is in the genealogy community. So she has uh, some great information here if you want to learn more about her and her uh, store shop hand. It's a great place to check out if you have a chance. There's a video also explaining how to find missing connections to Ellen in right here. So you'll want to click that and go there and See how you can, another way to get to see connect, where to add connections. And then we have a section here on the page that are notes from our guest star and kind of gives you some clues about what she, maybe some family mysteries. Looks like there's two of them. Everybody can kind of take a look at and focus on and see if we can help her out with that. Here's that link to the score sheet. And then the next section of the page is where you can ask for help. So we have what we call maintenance categories. And one of the maintenance categories is for the WikiTree Challenge. You can go into these different categories for uh, profiles that need created, biographies that need written, uh, records that need to be found. So we have WikiTreeers that like to write biographies. And then we have ones that like, just like to get the sources all gathered up together. So it works out pretty good that everybody kind of meets the needs. If there are photographs that you'd like to upload, be sure to check out the help section 
on whether or not images can be uploaded. They may be protected by copyright, so please read through that first. If you're unsure, go ahead and add a notation here, and I'll show how that's done. Just edit the page, and then you can just make a notation. You want to uh, make a note, and then be sure to leave the link to the image that you're wanting to upload. And then what you'll want to do is sign off with four tilts. What that does is it signs and dates your, your uh, comment there. So we know who to get in contact with about that question. So here's what that looks like. Just going to save my changes real quick. So once you've saved your changes, this is what it would look like. So you can see there it's left my profile ID and the uh, timestamp. So you want to kind of keep that in mind, those four tilts to sign off whenever you uh, request anything or leave uh, interesting finds. We need to know who, who to get in contact with or who to give the points to. So be sure to kind of keep that in mind. If you have a question about it, be sure to reach out. We have volunteers near affiliate libraries and also the main uh, family history library in Salt Lake City that will have volunteered to do lookups for us. So again, what you want to do is edit this part of the page, leave a link to uh, the leave a link to the image uh, or the not the image, but the record that you'd like to have looked up. Uh, so and then sign off with the four tilts so that we can get that volunteer can get back to you about that. All right, and then the next part is where we uh, would love for people to add any new countries that they find when they're working on these profiles. So we've got a starting list here. Uh, I know there's, a, I think there's a few more locations than this, but go ahead and update these as you go because we love to share that with the guests and also just to, it's really nice to see where, where all we're, we're headed. The next section is to tell us more about what you found. If you have interesting finds that you come across as you add profiles, please share them here. This is an opportunity for bounty points. So be sure to sign off again with that four tilt so that we can give you uh, your bounty points if you win them. And of course, we'd love to hear about any military profiles that you come across. And, uh, Go ahead and sign off on those for four tilts as well with those entries. Excuse me. Okay. And then next we have a section on free space pages. So if you have uh, a interesting story that you want to kind of flesh out a little bit more, uh, maybe it's an event or something that happened, then you want to st start a free space page. Go ahead and share that with us here so we can, can see that. And then also another free space page that you might want to create, or maybe there's a certain cemetery that has a page that we're adding a lot of profiles to. Go ahead and add that here. If you come across uh, one place studies, you can also add that here. Meme studies is another opportunity to maybe do some more collaboration and share that information with us. The next section of the page is our bounty opportunities. So these links are added by AON and it's an opportunity to earn bounty points. So the first person who makes a unique connection for an individual on this list wins bounty points for that person. And you claim those bounty points in the G2G post that's linked here. Brick walls will be added midweek by Eowyn, and you'll claim those bounties also in G2G. The next section is our Zoom and YouTube schedule and links. So here's where you can find out uh, when the next chat is going to be, and then also the reveal is listed here. And of course, the Ricky Tree Challenge is uh, part of the reason for it is to help spread the word about WikiTree out there so that more people can hear, hear about us. 
and that we can get some more cousins added to the tree. <laughs> so uh, these are opportunities to help us spread the word throughout the week. There'll be posts from the Wikitree official accounts. And so I'll be updating this section with the links to those posts. So you can see here today, there are already links out for all these channels. So if you're on Facebook, you can share the post or if you're on Twitter, you can retweet. So just take a, take a few moments to do that for us. It really helps, uh, helps us spread the word and build our SEO. If you'd like to have your own posts from your own social media, we'd love to have you do that. We've actually got a couple images here there's an image here to share that you're a challenge participant with the information about the challenge. And then if you have an interesting find you'd like to share out on your social media, uh, you can use this image that, if you'd like. I can also help with any other kind of image if you have a specific type of image you'd like to do. Just reach out to me, I'm happy to, happy to help with that. And then the last section of the page is the resources. So uh, there's a section on general Wikitree resources, including Wikitree Plus links and information about how you can get um, into more information. So there's a query here ready to go. If you just click on this link, it will open up for you in Wikitree Plus and you can see it's going to show you active challenge profiles that have no parents attached. So that's a good place to start. And then here are some optional other queries that you could use. If there are any African-American uh, profiles that you come across, please be sure to add the African-American sticker. And then here are some resources for uh, those type of profiles if you've come across them. There are specific country resources that are available in the Wikitree source library. So go ahead and um, you know, use this. If you have more that you come across or you'd like to share, please feel free to add that to this section. That's what Wikitree is all about is a collaboration. So please share. All right, so here's Ellen's profile and I haven't refreshed it yet. This is the starting connection number 579. Let's see if there's been any start, not yet. Well, we'll see what happens. It'll be fun. I can't wait. <laughs> I love Looking to see those to numbers, numbers go up and really flesh out the collateral lines of your tree. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Well, it looks like Diane and Celia has joined us. Welcome y'all. Does anybody have had, have any questions or want to share what they're going to work on? I'll probably do connections first because, you know, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Wikitree Plus might be down. Um, so, oh, there we go. Let's see what we can find out for here. It's like this spreadsheet just hasn't started up yet. Yeah. So here's that search I was talking about, here's active challenge with no parents. So all these profiles uh, have that. Uh, oh, looks you? like it's actually for the last challenge. So I'll send a, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll send a note to Alesh to see uh, how we can get that going again for our challenge, for this challenge, the new one. <laughs> all right, does anybody have any questions? I, I have one. Am I allowed to look? Oh or? yeah. Oh, okay. oh, whatever you, whatever you like. Um, we had David Ellen Lambert. He didn't want to know, you know, he wanted to be completely surprised. So he didn't look, he wasn't even, you know, didn't go check anything out, but uh, we have other ones that were interested right away. And so they followed right along. So uh, it's whatever you would like to do. Um, yeah. So feel okay. free. Uh, we Great. even, if, if you wanted to join the discord channel, uh, I don't know if you're on Discord, but that's a, yeah, a great I'm way to Discord. kind of keep up with. Okay. Okay, I'll send you the link for for the uh, for the okay. Wikitree server. I think it's also linked on the uh, challenge page for people who are on the challenge and haven't mm -hmm. joined. Yeah. Okay. We have a very active 
chatty group <laughs> every uh every challenge yeah it's a lot of fun so this is uh one of the tree apps uh, that i'm showing right now uh cc7 views just to kind of share that this is a good way to find uh profiles to work on so um you can see if you go down here you can see these this right here this column and it's purple it means that neither parents are listed or attached so that's an opportunity mm -hmm. maybe also you can see um if there are no spouse or no children so there's a column for children here spouse here siblings here so you can see where you might be able to start adding to to people so it's a really great tool uh that to have there and you can also just show up in the discord and say where should i work and somebody will oh, help yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I love WikiTree, but I still have challenges, you know, knowing that I'm doing anything right. <laughs> yeah, the it's got a steep learning curve. Right. We're also really good at yeah. helping with new the tools. A lot of people who join the challenge uh, use it as an opportunity to start playing around with the uh, browser extensions, like Sorcerer and the WikiTree browser extend, extension. Oh, okay. And they make it a lot um, less terrifying. Uh, yeah. What's that? They make it a lot less terrifying. It's, yeah. it's amazing. If I'm just afraid scared. I'll break it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's great is you can't break it. Everything is oh. tracked. If, if you accidentally make a mistake, somebody can go into the changes and fix it for you. Oh, okay. I mean, it I'll happens. Everybody's broken something at some point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and it's like, um, I think we were talking earlier with somebody, I can't remember quite who, but we were talking about those older profiles when you first started on Wikitree that we all go back and like, oh, what was I thinking? You know, and so, <laughs> it, but it's really easy to, you know, go through and update them. Like I've been going through some of the, those first profiles and using the WikiTree Sorcerer on uh, the family search profile, grabbing all those sources and having it, it's, it's a great extension for your browser that takes the profile on family search or ancestry, takes all the sources and it writes up a biography for you. So you can just paste oh, it right okay. into I'm the profile. With the, with the biographies that you can create on ancestry and, and that with ADI and all that yeah this is, it'll do like yeah, so you'll, the, you'll pick up a a census and it'll say in 1850 so and so lived here with his family and you just boom paste it right in all the you know there's all these fancy settings you can do a table you can do a list you can just do a sentence uh, you can just do yeah. the sources if you want to write your own bio yeah okay that's, that's really great okay i'll have to check that out yeah, I'll I'll um I'll actually add these links uh, to what I send you too, so that you'll have them all. So you okay. Can take take a look and see what you would like to do. All right. Well, if nobody has any other questions or want to see anything or want to share what they're working on, we'll go ahead and let everybody get started, and I'll get this video uh, edited and uploaded to YouTube so that others are able to to check it out. All right, super. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Oh, Elena, thank you for really inviting great. me. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. All right, well, we'll see everybody around the tree. Yep, see you. Bye. Bye. Bye.